hi guys good morning so now i'm going to show you on how to create a simple ping pong game first you have to open our scratch okay so i will type here scratch sc and enter then i will maximize it now cancel now here i'm going to click this uh, uh, stage okay in this stage so we have to change the background so i go i will click this library then find it here the near the panel and then click ok now we have now the uh, background now i'm going to change the sprite since we don't need this sprite this uh cat so i will remove this one by clicking right click okay and then now i will add now the new sprite Okay, here. Okay, now in this one, so I'm going to find ball. Okay, why I select the ball? Because we are we will use the ping pong game. So what is uh, what we need in ping pong game? Of course, ball, right? And then now click OK. So we have now this one, and then what we need more? We need the paddle also. So up to get, I have to add another sprite. So we'll find it here the paddle. What is the purpose of this paddle? So who is playing the ping pong? So of course, we need that also. Okay. So maybe this here. Okay, now here. So I want to shrink it. So we draw with this one, we have to make it big okay next then now so we have now the paddle and we have the ball so next is we have to put the script of this uh, paddle so what i will do now i will click the script okay and then of course events why we need to put the events because of when click once we click the script flag so it will automatically run the program okay then now i will click this control why we need a control because we need to uh, uh, run the program continuously until it will finish okay then click forever forever is uh, one of the loop okay then now we have to select what this motion motion why because we're going to go uh, move this mouse pointer means to say that why we need to use this mouse pointer once they touch the paddle it will uh well, it will run okay or it will move okay so where is that one go to mouse pointer okay this one so what will happen now so i will click see once you touch this one automatic the mouse pointer is come the okay the next is what we need more so of course we have to put the script of this ball okay so click this ball default and then now events again why we need to click the events because the when click okay and then again forever why forever because we need to move again this uh, ball uh, continuously okay now again we have to use this if statement if it's statement why we need to use this one because of touching of the sensing of your what your paddle okay so here since it will touch because once they touch this ball it will bounce okay so now click sensing and then touching okay so i will put this touching oh wait 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 wait, wait. not in this one i will put this sense touching here in inside of your uh, if statement okay then click paddle okay so you have to drop down this ROC we have mouse pointer we have edge and then we have paddle so of course I will select this paddle now let's say we're going to put the sounds so what will happen now so nothing happened yet right so I want you to put the sounds okay so how you can put the sounds this is the sound okay so what I will select, play sound pop, no need, they don't like this, so I will play the sound until, ah, pop, okay? Here, we don't have any option, 
Okay, so what you're going to do is to select the sound, find the library sounds, which sounds you need, that say pop up or pop, or anything you want, any sounds you like, it's up to you. But for me, I will select the pop. Okay, then click. Okay, now we have two pops now here. Okay, pop one and pop two. Okay, now I will select here pop two. Okay, so next is I want you to turn around your ball. So, what we will do now again, so go back to motion, click the motion, and then turn this one. You have to select this here. Okay, and then turn to 180. Why 180? Because in one rotation, in one um, rotation is considered as 180. In uh, round rotation is considered as 360. So half of round is 180. Okay. Now, of course, you have to put what? Wait one second. So why we need to put the wait, wait one second? Because if you will not put the wait one second, it will continue um moving okay next is let let's see what will happen now okay so what happened now it continues now right now i'm going to click it so what we will do we have to move this object okay so what we will do we have to again put the events then click here and then point in direction why point in direction into 45 degrees so where we can find it again in motion here i will put this one here and then i will make it 45 degrees so you can change this one into 45 okay again you have to put what forever here and then i want to move this one so what happened now nothing happened right see it will touch okay so again I will put here move what move 10 seconds or 15 seconds why I will change to 15 seconds to make it more fast okay and then it touch this edge so it will bounce back so I will select again if on edge bounce okay what happened now see what happened so that's it so this is very easy right it's difficult or not okay now this is now your simple ping pong game okay bye class i hope you enjoyed watching this one